Hello friends. Hi, welcome. Um, it has been such a long time since I have been in front of a camera to film an update for you all. Um, I thought I'd jump on. This is not going to be a long update by any means. Um, I have barely been stitching. I've only started stitching um, for the last two months in the last week. Um, so I've got a little bit of progress to show um, on a recent, uh, I guess, start. Um, and then I've also had a start since the start of the year that I was stitching on until I lost my stitchy bug. Um, so I just, I just received my uh, Gilmore Girls Winter in Stars Hollow uh, package from the Black Needle Society. I will post an unboxing video of that one because I've done, I think, the other two, if not three. I can't remember if I did the first one. Um, but I thought while I had the camera out and I had the energy, I'd jump on here and say hello. Um, the reason for my absence and the lack of stitching over the last couple of months is because I am pregnant. Um, it's a big life news there. I'm throwing around scissors. Um, and I say that with the utmost respect and uh, thoughts to anyone who has been trying or has suffered loss or anything like that. Um, it wasn't an easy process for us. Um, nonetheless, I am extremely grateful um, for where we are at and I am mindful of um, everyone going through their own hurdles and battles and things being harder for others um, than the normal. So um, again, extending my um, love and, and um, good wishes to you all, but um, yeah, just a very exciting time in our household. So it's been a little bit busy um, getting everything ready there. Um, we are having a boy, uh, which is very exciting, but I think with that too, um, I haven't been able to find anything that I like. Sorry about the truck. Um, like stitchy decor related for a boy. I think if I had a girl, I'd got so many like fairies and mermaids and things that I could kind of turn that into something, but lacking in the inventiveness and, and the thoughts on where to go. So then I haven't been motivated to stitch anything in particular. Um, I have not been sick, um, very, very fortunately. Um, so with that though, I've been incredibly exhausted, um, more than I was when my iron was needing an infusion. Um, everything at the moment looks okay and seems okay. My doctor's not concerned, but, um, that's just kind of been my main thing is exhaustion and therefore lack of energy. I haven't touched a book. I haven't touched stitching. I've barely stepped into the kitchen to cook and I love to cook. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a ride, but, um, anyway, here we are. Um, I think I'm just going to get straight into what I've got to show you. And like I said, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Um, I have been talking about this project for a very long time and I am very out of whack with this. So there is every chance that I did a video at the start of the year or something or end of last year. Maybe it was a start, but I can't remember. So I'm going with it as a new start now. Um, but it is Geisha by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, I still have a thread on it and on a needle and everything. Um, it is a paddock lane design fabric that was um, custom ordered by JK's Cross Stitch for me um, instead of using the called for picture this plus that I'd waited two years for. Um, I'm stitching this with all of the called for everything, threads, uh, specialty beads, I'm not making any changes. And I'm stitching it two over two on 32 count. Um, so I started in the middle and I've been tracking my way down to the bottom just because essentially that's the width of the bottom of her dress. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but then it's like quite broad down the bottom on her skirt. So I figured I should probably get down stuck to my watch um, and finish off the bottom bit and then that way I can focus on the top. I don't think there's too many beads from memory down the bottom. It is quite bead heavy at the top where the fan is and uh, sorry, the umbrella is and everything. Um, 
These needle minders are ones that I've previously, is it going to focus? Shown, I picked up magnets in um, Disneyland Tokyo and we were there this time last year during cherry blossom season. Um, so I've turned them into needle minders. So there's a little Sakura and a little Mickey. Um, and then this one here from memory, I think is one of the um, needle minders that you get when you place an order through JK's. So I think that's that one. Um, yeah, I had goals to kind of get more of that done and then, well, that went out the window. And then the last progress or project, sorry, I've been working on is technically a new start, but also not a new start in a way. Um, it is the Winter in Stars Hollow, um, contribution to the Stars Hollow retreat with the Black Needle Society. So as you can see here, this is the... That's all of uh, autumn, summer's here, and then spring is over on this side. Um, and this is the entire width and almost the entire height of winter. Um, I'm stitching this all called for colors, essentially, don't mind the loose threads. Um, uh, not doing any, I think there's a, Forbidden Vibico conversion on the specialty threads. Um, I'm just using using all the cold for partially because these ones along this border here and same with the others, they've been the same, like they've um, carried over and I can't really change anything else. Sorry, now the washing machine's done. Um, I actually just got the rest of my threads in. Didn't realize I hadn't ordered those. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I started this and this kind of reignited my stitchy bug. Um, I've done what I can to essentially color complete, um, with like colors that are landmarkers. Um, if you are doing this or if you know from previous videos, mine or others, um, spring had a hectic amount of white stitches. This one, considering winter and snow, not as hectic, but still nearly 2,000 stitches out of a 9,000 stitch piece. Um, so I'm trying to do some of the white in the, in amidst everything else and like do the white that's gonna give me um, markers or counters on where else to keep stitching. Um, so you can't even tell, but there is white in here. Um, this pom-pom I've only done one of because that was driving me nuts last night to, to stitch that in the dark, or well, not in the dark, but at night. Um, but essentially what we have so far is the outline of what is going to be cheerleader. Um, this is a lamppost. Each one has a lamppost and a wreath, essentially. Um, that is the start of a Pop-Tart. And that's the start of Lorelei's house. And then down here, and Laura's, Lorelei's house. Um, and then down here is going to be a little ice skating rink situation from when Luke builds Lorelei an ice skating um, rink at their house. And that I think is part of Paul Anker's um, like hat or scarf or something. So that's definitely Paul Anker. And up here is the uh, snow woman that Lorelai and Rory make in the middle of town one year as well. So some very fun things in here. There's obviously others, but like that's what I've started stitching. Um, so this, I'm just gonna ride this bug and see how I go. I have typically worked on these monogamously when the retreat has been on and then to a finish thereafter. Um, with the retreat, there are uh, prompts on things to stitch um, to earn like points, or you can stitch on the stitching um, piece and earn maximum points. Um, and I've always just done the stitching piece. Uh, I found that that's how I get the most um, progress in it, but then also um, the most points um, to go into the grand prizes at the end. And then, Part of what I've done and why I've kind of made myself some markers is so that when the retreat happens at the end of this week, um, I can pick a color just to start filling in or working around kind of some of the smaller pieces. So I'm not chopping and changing my needle as often um, so that I can just mass 
stitch one color for that hour and try and maximize my stitches. If I do that, I average around 150 to 200 stitches, um, depending on if they're a bit more straight line or not. And I think I'm going <laughs> to be leaving a lot of white for the stitchy challenge. Um, but we'll see. So that's that one. And then just the last little thing. So Tim and I, we celebrated our three year wedding anniversary earlier in the week, which is just crazy because there's been a fair few of you here since that time. Um, and I got a message from my, from Tim's grandmother about, um, it was her birthday the day before we were talking and she said, oh, by the way, I let, uh, something's coming in the mail for you. And um, bless her, she sends a card uh, for every birthday for Tim. And we've had anniversary cards in the past. I can't remember if it was just the first one or not, but I kind of just put it down to being an anniversary card, essentially. Um, but I was wrong. So uh, for those of you who may remember my videos towards the end of last year or just last year in general, um, I stitched, uh, I'll try and insert a photo, um, Schoolhouse Quaker by Stone Street Stitchworks for my husband's grandparents in honor of their 80th birthdays. Um, and I gifted it to her in the form of a pillow, just like a flat pillow, um, when we saw them at Christmas. And what I didn't know was she has gone and entered that into the local um, show uh, for her, her area. So she lives um, a bit way out and it won first prize. Um, so I've never entered anything into a show, anything like that. I, I, I do know... We have an annual thing called the Royal Melbourne Show. Um, and I know that there are towns and areas that have their own shows as well. Um, I've never entered anything into those, partly because I don't have anything like proper fully finished and the rest of it I can't be bothered doing. Um, and I don't go to them anymore. Now that there are, you know, there's my niece and kids starting to come into the, the picture. My mum used to have this tradition of taking us every second year and alternating what we did. Um, so hopefully we can pick that tradition back up and then maybe I will enter some pieces. Um, but that was just a really nice little surprise and something really lovely that she's done without my knowledge. Um, and then to actually get that back and, and have won, I don't know what the competition was. I don't have a photo of, you know, the display or anything like that. Um, but it was just a really lovely surprise. So, um, yeah, I called my mom once I opened it. I was actually already talking to her, but then um, I opened it afterwards and I called her back and I think I've said before, my mom's a knitter, but she mainly knits and crochets for like baby clothes. So she's in her element um, and to give as gifts to people. She's never entered anything anywhere. And she also, I think for her, she gifts her things. So her hobby is a little bit more justified and she just, she doesn't go crazy on what kind of wool she uses. But my sister and I are picking up cross stitch. Um, she was also a bit like, what are you gonna do with it when you finish that piece? Um, and then she started seeing what I was working on and she was a bit more like, ah, oh, I get it. But she still, bless her, can sometimes have a bit of that mentality. And so I called her and I said, now my little hobby has won me first prize. So I'm a winner in cross stitch. Um, we had a good laugh about it. She was very, very proud. So anyway, that was just a nice little surprise. And I figured it's arrived this week. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to include it. Um, so yeah, just a little, little moment of happiness. Um, but that's essentially all I have to show you. That is all that I've accomplished in the last three months. Um, still a fair bit for my usual, probably not as much. I had plans over February to pull out and hopefully aim for a finish on my um, Bella Filipina Amethyst Mermaid. Um, I am an Amethyst February baby, so it was going to be what I focused on for the whole month. No, I stared at it the whole month and I did no stitching on it whatsoever. Um, so that was fun, um, but I'm going to have to try and ride this um, bug and hope that it sticks around because ultimately, aside from starting this, my goal now is just to try and finish off all of the pieces that I have started, um, get some finishes in on everything and then kind of just 
see where I go. Um, I've got enough starter that it'll get me through not working for a fair few months when Bob's arrives. So um, that's just why I'm trying to minimize what I need to buy into that um, just so I can get some finishes and things down and start fresh. Um, but I definitely do want to do things like uh, the Bella Filipina, like the Jasmine Alice um, and Snow White seems to be like a theme coming out. Um, so I definitely want to start those and, and obtain those. Um, but that's all for, you know, like next year, once I've cleaned out this, this log of stitching that I've got. So that's all from me. Hopefully my next update won't be three months behind um but i'm not making any promises i will be back when i can um and when i have some stuff to show other than that um i have already shared the announcement over on my instagram and had so much love and warm wishes so thank you um again and uh i've missed you all but um hopefully it's not too long between my next update and i hope you're all keeping well thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you all soon bye